everyone, this is Feel Good of Feel Good Gunpla, and today this is the review, the two, the second part, in this case the final part of my custom Hanu Gundam. And here this first part of the second review is where I'm just doing the weapons. This is the shield here. Well, I'll just pull them out. You got the shield, the gun, the bazooka, the fin phones. Now, there's six, but I just have two out to show. Well, one looks like open, and one looks like closed. And then you'll see later on with it all together. And then you'll see another part where the fin funnels are actually deployed. But right now, this is the first part. Here's the shield. And see here, I used a Model Masters Cobalt Blue for the sides. Gun metal for the little vents right here inside. Uh, Model Masters Flat White for the white part. Used a Vallejo, I believe it's a light. Let me think. Ooh, I think it's a light gray. I have two grays, so sometimes I get them confused, but I know one is darker. Um, it's a gray. It's a Vallejo gray of some type, but as of right now, I can't figure out which one it is. Because it's gun metal for the barrel. Vallejo Air Red. I think it's Ride Red or something. It's a bright red I like to use a lot. And, um... Yeah, I did some panel lining on it, believe it or not. It was one place that I could panel line. Here on the front here, uh, pretty much the standard water decal stickers that you get. Except for no armor roll sticker here, a dragon sticker there, I'll zoom in on it. That's the shield, you know. Basically, you know, when it comes to Gundams and mobile suits, the shield is just defense. But here, the high new shield is for defense and offense because it has missiles under here. Plus, it has this barrel here. So, it has a little offense as well as defense. So, that's pretty good. Here's um, the high new's beam rifle. Now, originally, it was painted like a light gray and white. Which to me just looked boring and bland. It was one of the reasons that the high new was not one of the first um, gunpla kits to buy because it it came with this purple that I didn't like and the gray and just looked so bland and boring to me. Now the the, the size and the shaping of the gun was good and awesome, but it's just the colors just I didn't agree with, it and that's why I painted. Gunmetal, uh, got gunmetal gray. I know it probably looks black, but it's actually gunmetal gray, which is dark. It's a dark gray. Gold here for the handles, whatever it is there. Gold up here. And uh, here's the decal stickers I have. And if you're wondering, that sound you're hearing is uh, cars going by my house. I do apologize that I live close to the highway. And I'm trying to do some videos earlier in the day. Usually the videos I make are late at night. But not too many cars are coming by. But today I'm trying to take advantage of that natural light. So that's why you hear a lot of cars. And I do apologize for that. Over here we have the bazooka. And uh, I don't have it extended out. But... I didn't feel like it was necessary right now. And some parts of it I messed up because you kind of have to move, you know, push this stuff on it. So that's why it looks kind of, you know, right there. I have to push this on it to get it on there. So uh, unless I find another way where it doesn't affect it that much, you see it probably right here too. If I zoom in, it's right there. Um, originally I hated the high new bazooka to, to me the reason I hate it because it's just the color just made it look so bad that I didn't really want to mess with it 
So, you know, how I actually thought about throwing it away, I know. I don't know why you think about throwing it away. Well, it didn't look like much to me. But, of course, so you know what? I'm going to give it a chance, paint it up. The decal stickers are probably would have made it look good, but I said, you know what? I'm going to paint it up, make it look good, give it a chance. And if it still looks bad, then, I, you know, I just throw it in the box somewhere or whatever. But gunmetal gray for this part. I know it looks black, like I said before, but it is, it's a gunmetal gray. It's a dark gray. Um, I used the Vallejo. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a Vallejo gunmetal gray metallic color. And the same brand except gold for the gold streaks here in the gold parts. Also, I use Vallejo metallic uh, paint chrome for this part. Now, I didn't paint none there because I thought it would be hooked up to the backpack or anything. But actually, this part right here hooks up to the backpack. And as you see, I got the decal stickers there. And the paint plus the stickers actually made the bazooka look pretty good. So, yeah. Well, I probably have it displayed a lot. No. But, you know, hey. It's one of these things to say, hey, I did it. But I think I did it pretty good. Um, Let me try some here. Here we go. Sorry about that. Had to uh, pause the recording and try to fold it out. So, here's, here's the bazooka folded out. No, just no difference. Just fold it out. This one, you know, when he gets ready to use it, it'll fold it, pop out. He shoot it up, blow it up, you know. Now here is the fin funnels. Last time you saw, you just saw them on the back of the high new. Um, this what I did. And originally, whether you see red and yellow, I wasn't even gonna paint that. I was just gonna paint the blue, and that was it. But I just figured. I just see a lot of people do that, which is nothing wrong with it, um, but I just wanted something different, something that said me, so I did it like this, and this is where the uh, fin funnels are deployed. Uh, I use a gunner marker for that, you know, gunmetal gray for the... Inside here, gunmetal gray for this part. I also used the Vallejo. Both the gunmetal and gold are metallic Vallejo colors, so I can get that shine. Model Masters, uh, I think it's an Ensign Yellow, flat. And I uh, used the gunner marker for in there, gunner marker for in here. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I may end up making another part to it because I don't like making just 10 or 15 minute videos back to back to back to back. Well, take that back. Oh, sorry. I actually, I don't make like making anything longer than 10 minutes to tell you the truth, which is two minutes right now. Two minutes to my limit. But, uh, well, I may come up with a different part just for the high new itself, just to cut on time. Because, you know, and uh, so uh, this is the high new Gundam. Oh, sorry about that. I had to take care of something real quick. Um, this is basically what you see them look like on the high new when they're in standby mode, not being used. So this is what it looks like when it's on the Gundam. And this is what it looks like deployed, attacking. It looks a little different when defending. I think it gets, uh, then, uh, how can I explain this? More of the fin phones come together and they form kind of this shape. And you have to go on YouTube and probably find out how it does that exactly. But this one, it defends, it deploys like a shield to protect the high noob. But I liked it. Because, I like one reason I like the high new because it has defense, offensive and defensive capabilities, and the high new in particular because its fin phones are positioned on both sides instead of just the the new where it's just on one on the right side. I think of the gun. It just makes sense. Well, that is all for 
Well, I might as well say, yeah, it's all for part two of the custom high new Gundam, of my custom high new Gundam. There will be a part three where I will be talking about all these put on the unit itself. Basically, it'd be kind of like part one, but with the weapons all on it. And then there could be a possible part three, I'm not sure, where I will have, I'll be using the bit, sorry, I'll be using the stand that comes with it to shorten some action poses with the fin funnels out. This is Feel Good of Feel Good Gunpla. Later.